Hi guys, and welcome to TNG Productions. My name is Paul. My name is Tom. And where are we? We are at Mantic HQ in Nottingham. We got the call. We got the call last <laughs> night, and they were like, guys, we really need your help. We need an independent review of our fantastic million pound Hellboy Kickstarter. Well, they were like, we think you like this, we actually want an honest opinion. Yeah, that's so, more accurate. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so we got a call off the guys um, who we've worked with before, yeah. and we've come down to do a independent review of the Hellboy Kickstarter game. So the Loch Ness in a in a room with the Angel Geraldes painted miniatures. We're gonna be so careful. Yeah, we're gonna be ridiculously careful. Um, and we're basically gonna play through um, the demo scenario yeah. of Hellboy, the board game. And in a separate video after this one, we're gonna sit down and we are gonna give our honest opinion of it, of where it is right now. It's worth noting that everything you see in this video is subject to change, but this is the most recent iteration of the cast. Yes. Uh, the miniature is gorgeous, as we've said. And we actually yep. have a giveaway speaking of miniatures, Paul. What could they get? We do. Um, if you subscribe to TNG Productions, leave a comment in the comment section below, and also subscribe to the TNG Productions Facebook page, description. Facebook page in the description below. Um, and again, comment on the video there. Basically comment a lot. You could be within the chances of winning one of a couple of resin Hellboy miniatures we've got to give away. The one that Paul will be playing with in this bat wrap. That's that is correct, yeah. Gorgeous as miniatures, so you could do some awesome paint jobs. Yes, and there are already some out there, so you can check out some of the Facebook groups around to see them. But anyway, let's get on with playing the game and get into it. See how it goes. Okay, so for this game, I'm going to be using the one and the only Hellboy. The main man. The main man, Big Red himself. Um, so Hellboy, as far as, as what his character does, he's, he's just likes punching things, as you can assume with that big red fist of his. Not very good at shooting, but the gun he's armed with actually makes up for that. Uh, his special rules, boom. An enemy that suffers at least one damage from Hellboy's attack is hailed into an adjacent area. I have to remember that for the game as we're going forward. I know, but to be fair, you don't really want to always move them around. You want to just kind of have them in front of you where you can whack them more. Yeah, um, I suppose. Flame retardant, I don't think we've got much fire in this game, so I'm not too worried about that. And shake it off, which is very useful. So when I'm making a melee attack, if I roll a BPRD symbol, I get to recover two wounds with taking some damage, which is good. Um, unique actions, taunt is basically come at me, bro. Yeah, um, big right hook, which I imagine I'm going to be getting a lot of use. That's your favourite one, that is. That's yeah, the, we it played does an extra point of damage, doesn't it? Yeah, we played a, uh, a demo game before we sat down to record this, and I love big right hook. It does it, do stun, but for the purposes of this playthrough, we're not going to use stun that much, use just it, because no. it's an extra thing. We want this to be quite quick. Yeah. And hill furniture, I really want to do that. But Paul has always failed his role, so I imagine yeah. you're going to be <laughs> awkward. Like, yeah. This is ranged attack. Yeah, um, but we'll see what happens. And as far as what Hellboy is armed with, he's got deep pockets, so I can discard this during the agent phase, shuffle the requisition deck, and draw the bottom three cards and keep one. Just gets an upgrade. Yeah. Return the other two cards to the deck, so it's a free upgrade. Because um, Hellboy stashes everything in his pockets. Uh, Hellboy's pistol, which is a ranged weapon. Each target hit suffers an additional damage. Now, considering Hellboy doesn't deliver much damage, uh, doesn't uh, doesn't deliver much damage. Delivers all of the yeah, damage. Doesn't deliver. Uh, sorry, isn't good at shooting. Get me words uh, out today. If it hits, it kills. It hits like a train. Yeah, yeah basically. Um, he's got a warden charm. So overall, any catastrophe. Symbols on the, the black dice, I get to re-roll them. If I re roll another one, that's discarded. So basically a bit of a lucky charm. And I've got a protective undersuit just to minimise a little bit of damage. Yeah, because if Hellboy starts taking damage, Abe is, is going to panic. So I think yeah. he mitigates some of that. Yeah, and Hellboy is the big threat level. He's the big bad. Yeah. So um, he is always going to be first on the target priority, which is a shame. Six wounds as well. Six wounds as well can take a beating. Beefy as hell. Yep. Let's go on to Abe. And I am going to be playing as Abe, the Abe Sapien, the best of the Sapiens. He is uh, kind of a little bit different to Hellboy. He is more shooty yeah, and agree with you on similar that. in terms of investigation, but Abe is quite good at dodging. His special rules allow him to either assist Hellboy by giving him some of his action tokens or mainly dodging away. He has got some unique abilities to dodge him even more. He can aim a shot so he doesn't have to worry about line of sight or things that are in the way in terms of scenery. And he's quite good at healing himself because he really can't take a hit with five wound token. Oh, he's a little bit soft, isn't he? He is a little bit soft. 
Yeah. Um, he's not as threatening as Hellboy, so he will, will be going second in terms of the priority actions. <laughs> he's got Harpoon, which is a really interesting weapon, which allows him to either upgrade a die in melee or to just chuck it for plus three. Yep. He's got his guns, which... That could come in useful, your Harpoon. Yeah, very much. He's got a grenade to just blast things. When and, in doubt, chuck a grenade. Yeah, that's the thematic way, that is. It's pretty and, much, uh, yeah. We've, we've also got, stories. We've got field dressings as well, just in case we end up in trouble. But A... Is really, really kind of there as a supporting role to Hellboy. He'll probably be opening a lot of doors, firing an early shot before Hellboy walks in and utterly smashes things. That's the plan. So, here we go. Right, here we are then, Paul, at Davenport House. And there's a lovely little bit of kind of backstory to read as we go in. Okay. So, one brief journey later, the agents are on the threshold of a derelict house. It looks uninhabited, but they know better than to trust first appearances. So, as we enter... The door, we don't have to kind of open the door this first one, it swings, swings open as Hellboy kicks it in. Yep. And it reveals an encounter. So, let's see what we get. A lone sentry, it says. Now we start with the boxes where the door is. Yep. So there's nothing in so this each, one. each game tile is split up into squares. So in this case, we have four points that we have to fill. So the first one is blank. Second one gets a clue token. Third one gets a clue token, and the fourth one, coming back around to the door, gets a frog monster. Now it is a cowardly frog monster, which are kind of like the base level ones, Paul. So they have two wounds. Yes. And uh, the card says, a frog monster. These bug-eyed freaks are bad news. They usually a sign that things are about to get worse. This one looks kind of flighty, though, know, so we better deal with it before it warns whatever else is inside. Yeah, and we have to be in, bear in mind that if we don't take this frog monster out of action, if it's alive in the doom phase, we advance the impending doom. Right then, um, I think... I think Hellboy I should, should probably deal, deal with this. this I think you probably Personally, should. In our experience, Hellboy is probably a little bit better at punching things. Yeah, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one of Hellboy's three action counters to move him one two spaces. Yeah, you can move up to two diagonally or side to side. Apparently so. Um, and then what I'm going to do is one of Hellboy's unique actions, which is big right hook. So rather than spending one for a single attack, you can go for a big swing. Yep, I'm going to go for two. Uh, so I'm going to go for one big swing, spending two actions, and uh, I make a melee attack that targets a single enemy. If I hit, I stun the enemy and flip the one additional damage. And the other good thing is that Hellboy's rolling green dice because he's super good at punching. He so you deep. need a three yep. to hit. It's only got two wounds, so if you hit, you will do one damage and then plus one for your haymaker. Exactly. So we need three here, Paul. And I'm on green dice for this, so Hellboy's pretty decent at punching stuff. Good luck. Let's see how he gets on. He yeah, nails it. You can even re-roll if you want to overkill. Re -roll. But I think that's one damage gone through. And then if we would have got a reroll, we could have done more, but yep. it automatically does an extra point because it's your haymaker, which pops the frog monster. We are the greatest heroes. Let's just leave now, Paul. Let's just go. I don't think Case so. Case solved. No. Well, all right. Well, cowardly Abe then. Abe is going cowardly. to... Because uh, you've used all your counters now, so Abe is going to have cowardly. a look. Yeah. Now, Abe could search these clues, but actually I think if we leave it until we have a rest after this, we yep. get more information yep. because we're doing it less under pressure. So Abe's going to spend one just to move himself to just into that position there, I think, Paul. Good stuff. And that will end the agent phase. These markers will pop themselves away. Yep. And we now get to have a look at the rest phase. Now, if there's no enemies in the room, we can choose to rest. That's correct. The downside to resting, though, is it will push the impending doom tracker up. And we'll come off that in a second, yep. but I do think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. So we've got options. We can heal ourselves, but we've taken no wounds. Yep. We can uh, recuperate and help each other out. We could swap any equipment if we really want to. But each agent can choose to investigate. And what that does is they can look at a clue and rather than gaining plus one bit of information for it, they can do two. Yep. So my humble suggestion, Paul, is I'm going to investigate this marker here, which will advance our information gathered by two, which will gain us, what is this wonderful thing? That is called an insight. An insight yes. So that will help us when we fight the big bad gribbly that's clearly at the bottom of this. The big boss, yeah. Would you like to do the same perhaps, Paul? Um, I would. So, I, will, uh, I will also investigate. And that will again push us up two, so we are up to... Five already. Five information gathered, which is not too bad, because we start on one, so we've gained four there, which is really, so we're one away from another insight. Now, unfortunately, because we have taken that rest action, the impending doom will advance by one pull. That's correct. So it'll go up to level two. Okay. 
However, after that, we can now prepare for the next turn. So we can choose to uh, move into any area. Mm -hmm. So we've got two options here in the whole way. We can go one way or the other. I'm feeling this one, Paul. So I'm going to just move here. You want to go that way? Yeah. So you're, you're taking all, take, making the decision to go that way. Yeah, he's like, oh, hell boy. Shh, um, okay, I'll go with you. Hey, there we go. But life is going too easy, Paul. So we have to go on to the doom phase. Yep. This is where you draw a big nasty card that makes us cry. So what are you going to draw? I've drawn the end draws near. That's already very worrying there. <laughs> yep. So there's luckily no additional text on this, but the doom tracker does, it, impending doom track does move up to position three. Level three. Already. And we're already heading towards 10, which is when this, uh, this doom is yep. going to hit us. So that is the end of our first, I think successful. Not First too bad. Yeah. So, we've had a rest, we've got ourselves prepared, we will now go on to the second turn. Right then, Paul, so we're on to the second turn. And luckily we managed to get rid of that frog monster, so nothing dodgy happened with the Doom. Nope. So we are back up to the refresh phase, which you'll be pleased to know, we get all of our counters back. Wonderful. And actually Abe has got an ability where he can actually donate one of his because he's a tactician, but I think I'm going to keep hold of it for now okay. until we fight something really scary. Mm -hmm. And then he might be like, hell boy, you can do it. Yep. So Leave it all up to me. We would move on to the enemy phase, but luckily because there's no doors open and no enemies in sight, we can skip past that. Nice. So we go straight on to the agents. And I think I'm going to lead the way this time, mate. You lead the way. I'm going to spend one. You've done such a good job doing nothing before. <laughs> a cheerleader. I'm going to do uh, an opening of the door. Oh, and what's behind door number two? And that reveals. So, we've got an encounter here, so let's have a look. So, because there's only two, we go one, two, three, four. So one, we need a frog swarm. These are nasty if you keep them alive. They pet, they push the doom since they're like heralds. Yeah, so for every two of those, as they are the heralds of the doom, the doom tracker goes up, the impending doom goes up. We get a frog monster in two, a frog monster in three, and a point of interest here, which is going to be the next thing we need to find. Yep. in order to advance the plot. So, checking the case file, the agents, to progress further, the agents must find and successfully investigate this point of interest. When they do, flip this card. So from the case file, we've just got the blue exclamation mark logo, and there it is. So we need to sort it out. We do. So I spent one to kind of have a look around, so I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to spend another one to have a shot at this uh, frog monster here. So, Abe, like we said, not bad at shooting at all. He's got three green dice, and I need my effect dice. So, I am still aiming for three threes hits. here, and I get to double my highest one. Paul. You do, yes. So, four, no, two goes to four, five, six. So, that's three twice. So, that I've is. One shotted the gentleman. One shotted the frog monster. I am very happy with that, and, and I've still got. Sure still got one marker left, so do you know what? Abe's feeling comfortable. He's gonna have another shot at this one, see if he can blast this frog monster. That would be good if we had that roll again. <laughs> so, uh, needing three, I managed to put a solitary wound on the gentleman, so he's not particularly impressed there. But he's only got one wound left. I think this is Hellboy special, potentially. Hellboy special. Right. That right hook, guaranteed damage. Ooh, should I, should I, should I? I or are you, are you going to risk the gun, Paul? I was thinking the gun and then move in and investigate. But... Hellboy's not great at Hellboy's shooting. Not He's great rolling the red gun. dice, which is uh, the lowest you can possibly have. Yeah. What do you think, mate? I think go and crush him. I think you need I to... Think, I think a punch will do, yeah. So I will... Spend one to... Spend one of my counters to move one, two. Still having two left. And I will buy an attack on him. Just a regular attack. Just a regular so attack. That's a normal hit. So that is another counter. You're needing three here, mate. Needing three. Oh, look that at one. that. We get it all day. Absolutely Frog monster destroys it rushed. him. And that leaves you with one. That leaves me with one, and I will attempt to investigate. So, your investigation is not as good as your punching, nope. as we'd expect from Hellboy, so you're on yellow die, yes. which are pretty much 50-50, but there are enemies in the same room, because yes. we've got uh, this frog swarm. So I add minus one to one of my dice. To no, you're not. It makes the check harder, so oh, usually right, okay, you'd only need four on yep. these here, but you will need six, because there are baddies in the room. So I need six. Ooh. So you need a good roll here, mate. Good roll. Let's see what we get. And I'm definitely not doing it, but I do get a BPRD. 
Which would add two to it. Yep. Which but is not still enough. not enough. So that is that last action gone. Oh no. Not bad though, Hellboy. He's tried. Not bad. It just means that we will have to investigate it the next turn. Yes. However, it does mean that that's the end of the agent phase. Now we can choose to take a rest. This might be useful because these frog swarms are really, really nasty. So I think we are going to risk a bit of impending doom here, Paul. That's fine. But one of the actions we can do in the rest phase is that we are able to secure the area. And that allows us to discard all frog swarms or fires. Luckily, there aren't any fires in the room. Yep. So I think Abe's action is that he's going to clear out this frog swarm. Okay. Because we don't really like that. That's fine. I also think that um, it might be an opportunity for us to uh, prepare. So we need to advance the impending doom. Yep. Because we've got a break. Do you want to do anything? Um. Because we can't move just yet. We've got to push the doom on. So should we? There's can't nothing heal. really that help we can do. We've taken all the damage. So. So the doom will go to four. The doom will creep up to four. But now we get to prepare for the next phase. Yep. So I think what Abe is going to do, he's going to just assist Hellboy. He's going to yeah. stand next to him and just kind of like give him a little bit of support. Safety in numbers. Safety in well. numbers. I think, do you want to stay where you are? Uh, yes, I will stay there for now. Lovely. So that will conclude our turn for this part, but we do need to draw a Doom card, Paul. Dum, dum, dum. Doom phase it is. What are you going to draw? And we've done another, the end draws near. So we've looked out there, getting two of them on, the run, on a run. Um, so plus one again plus one again to the threat tracker but no additional effects which is arguably a good thing at the moment but we are halfway to the boss now halfway to the boss we need to get some research going on we do we need another bit of insight to help us out so Most definitely yeah. that is leading us to the end phase there's no frog swarms and no other effects we'll go on to our third turn okay then paul so we refresh so you get your three tokens back i do and I get my three tokens back. And we've just set up the board, in case you're wondering where all this comes from, in anticipation that one of us will actually investigate, will this. investigate this successfully. Do you know what? I'm going to have a go at it, mate. Okay. I'm going to attempt to spend one to investigate this little point of interest. So, because there are no enemies in the room, I need four, but I'm rolling yellow dice. So, okay. we'll see how we do. Oh, I get four. four. Convenient, that is. So, yeah. we get to remove this point of interest and that okay. is going to... The agents discover a secret door. The entrance to the frog's lair, maybe? Okay, then. So, so. we've set up the new sections already at the board, as shown. Um, and we have already shuffled and dished out the stage two encounter cards into the different rooms. So we'll It looks like we've got a hallway, yep. and we've got two options at the end. Two options at the end. So yep. I'll tell you what, seeing as it's me already, you are the muscle in this situation, yep. and also in the game. Yep. So, I'm going to spend one to open this door, okay. to reveal what is inside. So, encounter, on stage two encounters now though, Paul, so we've yep. got... Uh, in one, we have a cabinet. So we've got potions and remedies. Number two, we've got a clue. Number three, we have a frog swarm. And in number four, we've got two frog monsters. But these aren't just normal frog monsters, Paul. They are they territorial are frog monsters. Now, they are still threes to hit, Yep. but they've got three wounds, dum, dum, dum. which is pretty hefty. Yes. So, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We might to hang back with your last activation and I will go in. You can barrel in a wreck house. I, I think that seems like a legitimate thing to do. Go for it then, mate. Okay. So how long are you gonna spend one to move? I'm gonna spend one to shoot first and You're gonna shoot, are you? No, yeah. I'm gonna move because then I can't do me my, uh, my big right hook. Right, so you're gonna move one, two. Yep. And then you can do a big right hook, did you say? I'm gonna spend two of my action my other two action counters to do my big right hook. So I am looking for these uh, the threes here. Threes, yeah. yeah. So three as many as I possibly get. Uh, oh, I don't get any. Dear, but I yeah. do catastrophe get taken catastrophe. Away. However, I do have a warding charm. That allows me to re it. re roll the skull. So I'm going to re roll the effect dice. If I do get another skull, this card is discarded. My warding charm is discarded. And I get a BPRD, which allows me to add two points to your roll. So I will do one point of damage to one of these frog monsters, and I'll do it to the guy with the big stick. However, because of your haymaker, yep. it does another point, point of, of damage. damage. Exactly. So that puts him down to one health. Yes. Do you know what then? Abe, 
is going to attempt to finish him to off. To finish him off. I'm going to blast him. So a normal shot with Abe's final action. I'm going to have a go at shooting. So I need a three to do a point of damage yep. and finish him. Come on, Abe. Come on. <gasps> Did we get it? I got two successes, but look, I had a BPRD, Lovely. which adds two to it. So I will kill this gentleman here with a final wound. However, Paul, the tricky point is now is that it is going to mean that we've got some situations on our hands. Because we will end our agent's phase. We can't really take a rest because we've got stuff to deal with. We're kind yeah. of in combat. So we're going to go straight to the Doom phase. You're going to have to draw us a Doom card. Dum, dum, dum. And we've got Getting Angry. And that's a Hellboy specific one. That is a Hellboy specific one. So if we just read through this, this card remains in play next to Hellboy's agent card. Whilst it is in play, one of Hellboy's actions each round must either be used to make an attack or discarded. I'm assuming this card is discarded. Yeah. Discard this card when Hellboy suffers an injury or the agents take time. So you really want to punch things. So I just really want to hit things, yep. So that has advanced the Doom have marker the... on. Yep, so on we are now in six. position six oh, of dear. the ten before we end up facing the big Gribbly. Okay then, so I think we do not need to resolve the frog swarms because there is only one. Yeah. And when there's okay two, it'll move it on. So that will take us to the end of the third turn. So we'll go on to the next one and see how we do. So at the start of this turn, we have gained one additional information. In information. Because of that point of interest I gained, it does yep. count as pushing us on, and that gets us another point of insight. So we almost forgot about that, Paul. Yep. We need that for the boss. But what we've also got to remember to do is we've moved on another um, card in the case file. So this card now um, is put into play, and we add an information marker. Um, on the information track, and because we have two agents, this goes on space seven, which is the next one we get. So when this marker is reached, we then flip this card over. So we need, if we search that, we get some more info. And, and that info is gonna be some really good stuff. That should help us in the boss. So Let's anyway, help. new thing, Paul, we've got the refresh with our yep. tokens here, and we've now got the enemy phase. Now the way this usually works is the frog monsters do a ranged attack, mm -hmm. they then move, and then they do a melee attack. Yes. But because Hellboy is already in his zone occupying this frog monster, mm -hmm. it skips the first two. It does. And it goes straight to melee. And you're the target priority anyway, because you're the big scary red dude. Yes. <laughs> so, um, the melee attacks automatically strike, Yep. and they do three damage. Boom. Now, you have to roll defense. Now, Hellboy has got decent defense, he's got yellow die. Yep. And for each, you're looking for threes. And for each three you get, you will reduce the damage by one. Okay. So, so nine clears me all across the board. Yes, but you'd have to roll incredibly well. I don't think you can get nine. <laughs> <in this case. laughs> but you see if you can get at least three, try and reduce the damage a little bit. Yeah, I'll do my best. But um, because of the melee attack of the Territorial Frogs, if I do roll the Catastrophe dice... It takes away one of your action counters. It takes counters. away one of my action counters. So let's hope I don't roll a Catastrophe. Good luck. Oh, um, just I just failed. Still on camera, I do roll the catastrophe, but I do reduce the damage by one. So I do lose one action. But you take two wounds. And I take two wounds. So I'll just pop those on Hellboy's agent cards, um, which isn't great. However, that is the enemy phase done because yep. the frog monster has done its worth of attacks. So, question is, Paul. I think Hellboy should probably, uh, probably smart that frog, smart that frog monster, I think, I, in retaliation. I fully agree with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give him a big right hook. So I'm going to spend two of my action counters, and I'm going to give this frog a good old thump. So you are needing threes. Needing threes. And it's got three wounds. So if you can do six here, you'll one-shot it, because you get yep. plus one for your right hook. I do two. But you get to add two. But because I get to add two, or... I could spend that to heal two damage, but I think doing the damage to the frog monster is probably more important. So you so, do one damage to it, yep, and then you do another one because An of your big right hook. Yep. Which puts it on one wound. Do you know what that means, Paul? That means Abe's got to come and save the day. The hero of the day it. is going to go through. So because, unfortunately, I have got uh, an agent engaged in the frog monster, it's going to cause a penalty. It would downgrade a die, so my three green I would have one that goes down to yellow. 
Mm -hmm. However, what I'm going to do is spend two to take an aimed shot, which will ignore all penalties and yeah. go straight through. So which I'm is one of its shots. Yeah, which is one of Abe's unique actions. So I need a three. Yeah. To do a point of damage, which will finish him. So. Nails oh, it. look at that. Easy peasy. Um, I think I'm going to do something fancy here, Paul. Yep. I've got six there, so he's definitely dead. So I'm going to use Abe's special ability, Quick Reflexes, which allows me to use this logo to return BPRD. an action yep. car, uh, an action counter back to Abe. So he actually suddenly becomes a bit more maneuverable. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this frog monster is well dead. And what that will allow me to do, Paul, is I could spend one to move two. I'm going to ignore this little swarm here. And I'm going to spend one more to try and investigate. I don't blame you. So, yellow for investigations. Yep. And there is an enemy in the room, so I'm going to need six. Yes. So, let's see how we do. Oh, just shy. shy. I get five. So Abe is scratching his head. Yep. Trying to work out what to do. That was disappointing. But it does end the agent phase, and we have got the ability to take a short rest. Now, because we're not far away from this talisman pool, but the threat tracker is on six, I think it's probably still a good chance for a rest here. I, I think I think we've probably got the time. So what we're going to do is we can recuperate and recover. So I'll tell you what, Abe is going to. Oh, I could clear out the frog swarm, or I could just take the investigation points, Paul. What do you think? Because I think you well, should probably heal. Well, I could do with healing, and then I could uh, take out the frog swarm. But you actually, can't do both, you can only do uh, one. Yeah. Actually... Or are you just going to take the hit? I, I'll take the hit. Hellboy has ways of recovering himself. He's, he's, uh, he's not too bad. I'll tell you what then, Abe is going to clear the room. Yep. And then why don't you remove this clue? And I put us two good. more on the information gathered scale. Let's do that. So that puts us up two more. It does indeed. And we gain this info marker. The info marker. So, so we're up to eight now. Yep, so we're going to flip the next card in the case file. Right, let's see what our info has got us there. It says, you've seen enough to know that a colossal frog monster must be nearby. So we kind of get a sense of what the boss is. It says, if an agent examines this point of interest, they will gain a mystical sigil. And what that will allow us to do is to upgrade all of our dice if we are being attacked by the frog monster. So that is very nice, and it will move our case file on pool. Okay. And what? it now seems that we are looking for an orange icon. Yes, we are. So we've got to see where we will be able to find that. But we are still at the end of our resting. Um, do we want to move anywhere? Um, I think we're okay where I we think, are. I think we're okay where we are. Yeah. We do need to move the Doom Tracker on one because we've taken a breather. We have. So we are up to seven now. And I do need to flip the Doom card. And it's another, the end draws near. The end is definitely drawing near. Yeah. So this isn't good. So we are now perilously close to the apparently big frog monster, giant frog monster. Yeah, that is, is not the best, but luckily you're getting angry still, so you're still gonna keep swinging at things. Yeah, not too bad. So, that is going to be us preparing. We are prepared, we've done the Actually, uh, getting angry is gone because I suffered damage from the ah, frog monster. Yeah. So you're okay yeah. now. I'm okay. Uh, there's nothing else for us to resolve, so we'll go on to the next turn. Yep. Okay, so next turn, I think this is turn five now. We're we've, doing okay so far. We've refreshed, we've got our markers back. Yeah, we've decided to ignore this potions cabinet and I think Abe should lead the way opening the door. Yeah, we've got no enemy phase and Abe is in the target priority. Now Hellboy's being hit, I'm in the firing line. So I think Abe should probably go first just in case there are monsters. So he is gonna open this door for one of his action counters and that will reveal whatever is behind. So, it's a spawning site. It says, on number one, we need a frog monster and a frog swarm. On number two, we need two frog monsters. Oh dear, Paul, we've got a lot of baddies here, a lot of gribblies. Not looking on good. three, we need a frog swarm. And on four, we've got a point of interest. It says, start the enemy phase, spawn a frog swarm in each area of this room that is adjacent to at least one other area containing a frog swarm. So we could do with clearing out the enemies and the frog swarms quite quickly. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be an easy thing to do. So Abe is going to spend another action and he's going to attempt to shoot at this frog monster here. So I need threes and I'm looking to do a wound on them. So they've got three wounds, haven't they? They have, yes. So, come on Abe. 
Oh, oh so he doubles this to four. Yeah. Five, six, seven. So I do put two wounds on it. Nice. Which is not too bad. Most definitely not. And I think I'll spend my other one to try and finish it off. I don't blame you. So, and then Hellboy hopefully will just go and smush yes. the others. So, needing three. Oh, I do roll a skull, which means not only do I lose my most important one, I'm out of ammunition. My sidearm oh, no. is gone, so I will need to spend two actions to reload. No, no. Uh, but three. Not bad. Enough to wipe out this frog monster. Which so, is a good sign. Giveth and taketh away, Abe does. He does. Does indeed. So, get that out of the way. So, it looks as though Hellboy is going to have to go in and clear house again. Again, I know. Can he clear house? That's the question. I don't think he can clear both, but he can definitely go in and introduce them to his gun. To, or to the uh, Fist of Doom. You keep teasing the shooting action here, I Paul. I know. But the gun's really good. It hits like a train. If it hits. Yeah. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Um, or you can just slap no, it. Not personally. I'll <laughs> no, I'll punch them. Okay, okay, so you're going to spend one to move? I'm going to spend one to move. Into this area here? I am indeed. What kind of punch are you going to do? I'm going to... I may as well just keep using the big right hook. Okay. Because eventually it's got to pay off for me. So. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah. I will so, use the two. big right hook. Needing three. Needing threes. I get three. Four, five. And, and BPRD. So you could either choose will... to heal here using your shake it off skill, or you could add two to the roll. Yeah, I will five, 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 six, seven. Yeah, I will add two to the roll, and I will. Do... You want the stick in his tongue or reaching? Uh, either or, because one of them is dead. So yeah. Because yeah. you do two damage and you do one more, so should we just get rid of this guy? We'll get rid of that guy, yeah. That has destroyed him. Lovely. Now, unfortunately, Paul, that will end our agent phase. Now, we are unable Indeed. to take a rest. No. Uh, and because we are now moving on, it will mean we go straight to the doom phase. Dun, dun, dun. So, do you want to draw us a doom card? I shall do. And we've got visions of the future. Reveal the next three cards of the Deck of Doom, shuffle them, and return them to the top of the deck. Right, should so, we do that off camera so keep the suspense for the audience so they don't know what's coming? Uh, well, I think we should tell them what's coming and then shuffle them. Go on then, what, what are the next going. three? Do you want to show so them the over here? The top card is going to be Unsettling Familiarity, which uh, this card remains in play next to Abe's Agent card. The next time Abe attacks a frog monster, or is attacked by a frog monster, all of his dice are downgraded, then this card is discarded. So I don't want just, that. I just, don't want that. Yeah, he's just, he just realises he's stomping on his friends yeah, and family. That can go to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we then have Unexpected Attack. Spawn a frog monster in the area of the Agent Furthest Right on the target priority track. This does not affect their position on the track. That would be Hellboy at the moment. That would be Hellboy. It? And then Otherworldly Mist. During the next agent phase, agents can only draw a line of sight to adjacent areas. So it's not looking good all around. No. Okay. So we'll, we'll sort them out and we'll put them on top. But there is one other bad thing, Paul. What's that? Because there are two frog swarms, which are going to become four in a second, which is terrifying. Yep. It does move our Doom Tracker at one. Because they are the heralds, that puts us on nine. Dum dum dum. We could really do with that point of interest to uh, to get our insight up, couldn't we? We could do. We could do with one more. We've got two insight, and it looks as though it's next turn that we could be engaging the big, big ribbly. ribbly. Right here we go then. And we are refreshed, ish, in mid fashion. combat, in a fashion. <laughs> so we will go on to the enemy phase now because of the spawning site. We're going to have to put some more frog tokens down, Paul. We're going to use these beautiful little early access ones here. Yeah. And they spread all over to the adjacent ones. They are a real issue. So I think at the end of this turn, no matter what we do, yeah, that, no, that there's there's no impending that doom is definitely impending. Yep. Um, so I think the enemy attack needs to go. Now, I'm actually the target priority here. But because I'm in the box. But with because it. you're in, in the face of this, yep. it can't melee attack. It can't range attack. Uh, so it's just going to have to punch you, I think, Paul. Oh. So it's definitely going to do three damage, so you need to roll your defense here, and you are looking for threes. And for each three, you'll reduce damage by one. Yep. 
So I got three to reduce the damage by one, and I got a BPRD. Now you can be clever here with your shake it off. Uh, I can't use shake it off, it's only when I'm doing a punch oh. and a melee attack, sadly. Um, but it does add two, which actually doesn't make a difference, unfortunately. So you're going to take two damage? Um, either two tests of the score or can be spent to trigger a special rule. Yeah. Can you use your protective undersuit to take a damage off, Paul? I can do, so I was just thinking that, so I will... Protective undersuit is a piece of equipment Paul's got, he can yeah. flip it over to yeah, take a so point I'll of damage away. Take, I'll cancel out one point of damage, Yep. and I will flip over my protective undersuit and take away one point of damage. I now have damaged undersuit. So you do take one point of damage then. Yep. So out of the three, you dodge one, and your suit took one. Yep. That puts Hellboy on three health. Mm, it's not looking good. Oh, but it will end the enemy phase. It will. Which is good. So, I think Abe is mm -hmm. going to reload his gun. Okay. Now I could walk up and heal Hellboy, but I think you're okay at the moment. Yeah, So I should do okay. I'm going to spend two to reload, because mm -hmm. I was out of ammo after my last shot. And then I'm going to spend my last one to have a shot at this nasty frog monster that won't go away. So, green dice, looking for three. Looking for three, yeah. Whoa. A. That's not too that's bad. That's seven, so that does. Two points of damage. Two points of damage, which means Hellboy could probably give it a little slap. Let's hope so. And then go and investigate. Yep, so my turn, I am going to do just that. I'm going to give it a thump. So take one away. Yep, you need three that. here, mate. Hey, you murderised it. it. Squish him. So you've popped it. I have done. And that means you've got two to play with. Yep, so I'm going to spend one to move there and spend a second one to do an investigate. So Hellboy isn't great at investigating. So I am going to need... Six, because there's enemies in the room. Six, because there's enemies in the room. Good luck. Oh, oh not just quite. short, just a five there, unfortunately. Um, we're doubling one of the dice. Uh, sorry, no, a, a four, we're doubling one of the dice, so it was miles off. So that will take us to the end of the agent phase, and we're on to the rest phase. I think we can do something clever here, Paul. We definitely know the impending doom is going to knock us over to the big boss now. Yep. So, I think you could probably do recuperating. I could do. So what you do to recuperate is you roll two green dice. Yep. I get three, three, which is conveniently <laughs> how many the words you've got. Um, um, agent. What I am going to do is I am simply going to clear the room so these frog spawns don't come with us. Okay. And I'm just going to wipe all of these out. Yep. And I'm just going to leave it there because the impending doom. Has reached dun 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 level the doom marker ten. So we need to flip over the doom marker card. What does it say, Paul? So it says put this card into play and put this marker on the impending doom track. So we've done that already. So, so, done we that flip already. It. so the marker has reached. Flip this card. There is a deep rumbling and the ground begins to shake. Before the agents know it, the floor gives way and they are pitched into an ancient crypt. Discard this card and any others until you reach case file card 8. Flip that card. Any frog monsters that are cleared away when the board is reset are split between the zones marked Z. Right, so okay. we will flip, reframe, and be back in a sec as we go to face the boss. I'm terrified. So oh here we are, my God. the big boss! Right, so we've got a bit to read. The room is large with shadows blotting out the ceiling. How far underground is this exactly? Before the agents have time to take in their surroundings, something moves in the shadows. Something massive. Uh-oh, things have taken a turn for the interesting. The current round ends and we discard this card. So we go on to our final bit. From now on, the rest and doom phases are skipped. When attacking the giant frog monster, the agent can spend an insight to upgrade all their dice. So we've got two to play we with managed here. to capture two during our investigations. If the giant frog monster's defeated, the agents are victorious. If the agents are knocked out, it's game over. So I really don't care about these two. Yep. Now the frog monsters are upgraded. We've got enraged frog monsters now who have four wounds. Ouch. And then we've got the giant frog monster who has a mighty 12 wounds. Nothing. We're That's going nice. for threes to hit these, we're going for fours to hit the big gentleman here. Yes. Now, the giant frog monster, Paul, 
is yep. going to go first because we are refreshed as we've fallen through this floor. Yep. So he's got a ranged attack of two, which is out of range, thankfully. Yeah, target priority is me yep. still. So he's going to move, but thankfully, because there's scenery, he walks direct towards Abe, stands on this, crushes it, yep. but it does slow him down as he gets his little tootsies, splinters. Um, so that will be him done. He's just stand there looking very scary. Very menacing. The arranged frog monsters go next, and they've got a melee attack, which is a uh, ranged attack that's only got a range of one. And they can't hit range. can't touch Abe. Yep. Um, so they are, no, no, no. Now they can move to, so this one is going to move to here. This one is going to move to here. But again, they're not within range to do anything melee wise. Mm -hmm. Abe is just going to stand there looking very terrified about the, the yep. hurt that could come in. And I'm going to do typical Hellboy. I'm going to hit the big thing with my big fist. Right, so we move on to the agent phase then, mate. So, yep. you so I'm going to go first. You can hang back. I'll show you how it's done. Famous so, last words. Famous last words. I'm going to spend one, one, two. In your face. I'm going to spend one of our insights and I'm going to give a big right hook. It's worth noting, this is a really good move because you can only have six area within each box and a boss takes up four. So you're going to spend two for a big right hook. Yep. And you get an insight it. Yes. Which means we get to see the mythical white dice to start with. So your yep. green go up to white, which have not got any failures on. Nope. You need so a four. I am needing four. So for every four, I will inflict a point of damage against the frog monster. Roll space there. And I also get an extra one for the big right hook. So let's see what Whack Hellboy it. can do. Oh, that wasn't too bad. So four, four, that does do two damage to the big frog monster. But because of your big right hook. You get three. So he's just thought, what is this big red dude coming at me, swinging his fist? Yeah, that is not good for him at all. So it means that Abe is up next, and I think Abe is going to use a point of his equipment. He's going to throw his harpoon. What? Now, his harpoon is a melee weapon, but he can chuck it, which gives him a ranged attack with plus three. Nice. So I only need to roll one here Wonderful. to successfully hit it. So, greens again, so this will be one of my actions. Okay. Come on. I don't think I want to re-roll anything to be honest. I so, don't blame you because you can't get higher than that. So I need fours to hit, so I've got my four there. Yep. And I'm already on plus three. Yep. So I do two wounds to it. Two so wounds to it, nice. It does not appreciate that, but unfortunately I've lost my harpoon. Um, but we've done five points of damage to it. I'll take that. And I've got two actions left. Oh dear, I can move, but I feel like I'm gonna get whacked wherever I go. Abe is, is really not appreciative of it. I wonder if it's worth you shooting at one of the frog monsters just to try and weaken them down. I think we just go for the boss. I okay. think we pull as much as we can. So I'm going to try have a shot at the boss. Why don't you try an aimed shot rather than shoot at Because I feel like I might want to move. Okay. So just so the frog monsters can't come and get me both in melee. Okay. That's my thinking. So I'm going to go for a shot. So. I need four. Okay. So. So I can double the dice. You can double the dice, but, but it makes it three. Good. That is yep. not enough, sadly. Sadly. But I am going to spend my last one for Abe. Are you going to come into the box with me so the frog monsters can't get in? You are entirely correct there, Paul. One and two. I am going to make my way into this box, and now we are fully filled up. Let's just twist them round so we can see these beautiful so you can see the drama. painted miniatures. There we go. So. That means that we are heading over to the end phase because we can't recover. Nope. So it means we go straight to the refresh. Yes. So immediately we get our cubes back. Lovely. Now, question Paul. I can use my strategist skill to donate a cube to you. Could you? And I feel like Hellboy's probably got a better chance at doing... A thump and thump. So I'm going to spend one of mine yep. to hand it over to you. That's so nice of you. No pressure, mate. No pressure. And we will go to the uh, the enemy phase. So the big, nasty monster is probably going to take a swing at Abe, I think. Yep. So, oh dear. So he is doing... But do you know what I can do that's clever? What's that? I can dodge. You can try and dodge. So before testing my defense, because it can't do a melee attack on me. Yep. These guys can't do a ranged attack, I don't believe, because I'm being engaged. No. Nope. So, might we have to check that in the next round of playtesting, but for the moment, I think these guys would just move. 
Yeah, I think so, yeah. So they're just going to move towards. Well, they're not in range, they're in range attack anyway. It's only no. one square, so. So they can't do a melee because we're filling it up. Yep. So it goes to the big nasty giant frog, and I am going to use my ability, which is when I would be testing to dodge, I can instead move to an adjacent area where no enemies are to upgrade one dice. No. So I'm going to dodge just this position here. Now the monster still gets to do, would usually get to do a ranged attack on me. Yep. But it can't because. No, it still would. You just get to upgrade one of your. Ah, so. okay. So I'd usually have red because I'm rubbish, but I get to upgrade one to yellow. Lovely. Um, what am I needing to defend here? So you are needing fours. Needing four, and, and it's take doing four damage. Four damage. Oh, you dear. need a good roll here. Come on, Aid. <laughs> you can you can double nothing. I can double nothing. Or you can take the four damage. Oh dear. It's all right. I got your back, bro. That really hurt. I've got one health left. You got one health left, right? But our turn. Yeah. We need to do what? Well, it's on five. So we need to do quite a lot of damage here, Paul. So what do you want to do? Do you want to shoot first, or shall I thump away? I need to get four to do it, don't I? We still have one requisition left. Do you want me to chip away at it? Um. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So Abe is going to take a shot. Obviously, we're aiming for the big man. Are you taking an aim shot or? I am going to take an aim shot because I don't want to shoot you. I'd like it if you didn't shoot me. Um, so, I am going to go for two actions. I am going to go try and get a four. Ooh. Oh, you nail it. So, three, four, five. So, that does another single point of damage to it. So, down to six there. Also, for target priority, thankfully, you're the priority now that I've taken damage. Yep. Well, I am going to take two big swinging attacks at the Gribbly. Would you want to use the Insight, Paul? Um, I'm going to use the Insight for the first attack, yeah. So you upgrade all of your dice to the white ones, that's spent. Yeah. You need so four. we really could have done it with that final Insight, which are great catches on the dice. I know, that was the the catch off the table. camera. Um, you need four here, good luck. Ooh, oh, you can re-roll when you don't re -roll like. I can re-roll one I don't like. I'm going to re-roll one, one. To get two, three. So that was two for my big right hook. So I'm going to do uh, one more point of damage. So is that two points of damage it takes? Yes, yeah, so that's two points of damage. Six, and now seven, we've got no eight. insight left. So the second attack I'm going to do is again going to be a big right hook. But you're on your normal green dice I'm now. Just on the normal green dice. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, it's tense. Oh, you can reroll. Re -roll. Oh, still get four. Um, so that is another point of damage, so he's down to nine. We're really working this monster, but I've got a feeling we're going to get beat up now. Um, <laughs> this is going to sting now. Yep. So, so we go over. to the end phase. Yep. And now we refresh. We do, indeed. I don't know if I want to give you my ones this time. I feel like I might have to take three chip shots at it. Yeah, I feel you may have to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, enemy phase. Uh, big Beastie goes first. Yep. So it's going to just punch you. You're the target priority. I am, yeah. So it can't make a ranged attack because it's engaged. It is going to do um, four points of damage to me. I have to roll my defense, which is the yellow dice. Oh, Come on, dear. Big Red. Oh, I take four points, four points of, damage. of damage. That really hit. It's okay, Paul. It's okay. We're all right, we're not dead yet anyway. We can still take more damage, it'll just debuff us. We don't want to debuff. It does knock you down in the target priority though. It does. So I become the priority. Um, so the frog monsters, this yep. one is within range to do a ranged attack at me. Yep. So it's got a ranged attack that will do three damage and I need three to dodge this. You do, So yes. what I am going to do is use my dodge ability. Okay. Um, oh, where to dodge to? I don't know, wherever I dodge, I'm gonna get attacked, aren't I? So I'm gonna dodge into this one. Yep. Which will allow me to upgrade one of my die. So I'm rolling two red, a yellow, and I am needing a three to mitigate damage here. Dun, dun. Oh no, that is going to be three points of damage, which means that I'm now gonna to have to flip over two of my wounds. So what is gonna get debuffed? So what's being debuffed? Your melee and your search. So I will have one, not my search, my melee and my shooting. 
Oh, so I'm going to have one downgrade die for each of those, which is not great. Um, the monsters would now move. Yep. So they're both. Uh, but target priority goes to you now because I've been shot. So they can't both get in. So this one will move in, and, he will and it will melee him. attack you, Paul. This is going to hurt. This is not how it went in the playtest. <laughs> so you're on yellow die for defense. And you need to be three, three to mitigate some damage. Three damage here. Oh, I do get a BPRD, but um, it's not going to work, so I will take two, two points of damage. But I will discard my damaged undersuit to just take one to mitigate one of the points of damage. So you're on five wounds now. On five wounds, yes. Our turn, though, Paul. Our turn. Our turn. What can we do here? I've got damage. I don't think either of us can survive another round of attacks. No, it's not great. I tell you what, I am potentially going to... Just shoot him. Oh, yeah, shoot. I'm going to shoot him in the face. So shoot I'm going to take an aim shot at the big scary monster that needs to die. I don't blame you. So, come on. Come on, let's do well. I have got a grenade just in case things go really badly. Really but, shoot. Um, that's not bad, Paul. I double my highest. Yep. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Three wounds? Three. No, two wounds. Two wounds. Oh, no, Close. it's four. Oh, it's dear. Only one two wound wounds. Left. It's one, got one wound left. And you've got one shot left. Can Abe do it? Abe, Abe for the hero. The, the hero of people, but it's not an aim shot, Paul. So if I roll a catastrophic. Yep. Ah, oh, no, I didn't downgrade one of my dice, did I? I didn't. Oh, so I'm going to have to re roll that. Yep. Mistake. Mistake. So I'm going to have to try again. So I re really downgrade onto the yellow. So we take those away. Because I've been wounded and my shot has gone down, yep. watch this be a bad roll now. Oh, no, it's not a bad roll. Still not bad. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those two wounds. Those two wounds, yeah. Anyway. So we bumped that up to six, you get nine overall, yeah. So my last one will be someone just- someone wants us to win this. Will just be a standard shot. Okay. But I think if I roll a catastrophic- It hits me. I hit you. And I don't want you to do that. So. Come on, Abe. Come on, Abe. Come on, Abe. <gasps> You've done it. He said it. You've done it. Hey! Hey! That is Abe with the, frog the final monster. killing shot. Bye bye, frog monster. You are dead. Okay, so if the giant frog monster is defeated, the case is closed and the agents are victorious. So basically, Abe and Hellboy have just thumped away at the big frog monster. And it is game, set, and match. It is well dead. So we'll go to our kind of review summary next. A victory. Well done. Good it teamwork. Worked. Very good teamwork. One frog monster vanquished. Yep. That ramped up so quick. Giant frog monster. Um, we better get to the reviewing part then. That's it, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and make sure you comment below for a chance to win that Resident Hellboy miniature. Click on the next video, which will appear in a second, and see our review of the game.